Hey, it's Noel from creationeffects.com here with another super quick tutorial on how to make a 3D sky and clouds for your scenes in After Effects. Okay, it's not real 3D, I'll actually be cheating, but it looks really cool and it's easy to do. Here's a scene I made a long time ago and you can see the clouds appear to have 3D depths to them as they move, with the clouds in front moving faster than the clouds near the horizon. And to do this, we can just skew a 2D sky image using the distort effect. And some of you know exactly what I'm talking about, and some of you don't have a clue, and that's okay. It's very easy to do. I've got this pre-comp here that will be my foreground. It's got a lighthouse, an ocean, and light beam, and it's ready for a sky background. You can see if I toggle the transparency grid, this shows that all of this area is transparent. I've already imported a sky image that I found on a free stock image site, and I'll drag that into my comp. Next, I'll hit the S key to bring up the scale property, and I'll scale the image so that it's a little wider than my comp, like this. And mine happens to already be the right size, so I'll leave it like it was. And next, I'll drag it below my foreground layer so it'll show up behind it. And I'll click and drag it to position it to where I want it to be. Ideally, you'd want the horizons to match up, but if you have a tree or building or something in your cloud image, you might need to drag it down further to hide that part of the image. Now your clouds probably will need some kind of color grading to look like they belong in your scene. This isn't a color grading tutorial, so I'll just quickly add a photo filter effect here. I'll change the color filter to orange because my foreground is orange. And then I can turn up the intensity here and the color of the sky will match the rest of the scene. Alright, now we'll add that transform effect to this layer. I'll go to Effect and Distort and Transform. And we want to skew this image horizontally, so I'll set the skew axis here to 90 degrees. And now if I play with the skew here, you can see it's skewing from the middle of the image, which is up here. And that's because that's where the anchor point is. So let's move the anchor point of this transform effect by clicking this little point control icon. And then I'll click in the middle of the comp and right on the horizon. And that sets the location for the anchor point but it also makes the layer jump to a new position, so we need to reset the position as well. So I'll click the point control for the position up here, and then click in that same spot. And now, when I change the skew, we have simulated 3D cloud movement. So the only thing left to do is keyframe this. I'll set the skew to its starting position, and then I'll go to the first frame. And I'll add the first keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon next to skew, and to reveal that new keyframe quickly, I'll select the layer and hit the U key. And there's the keyframe. And next I'll go forward five seconds or so and I'll set the end position for our skew. And that automatically created a new keyframe. So now all that's left to do is play it back and revel in the awesomeness manifested from the mastery of your mind and forged from the force of your fingertips. And now enjoy this audio montage of every time I said the word skew. Skew, 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 skewing, skew, 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 skew. This has been another quick tutorial from Creation Effects. You can subscribe for new tips every week and check out creationeffects.com to see lots of cool effects for your footage like claymation, graffiti, pencil sketch, glitches, VHS, old film, ink bleeds, custom 3D books, and a lot more.